uh, there are some practical steps we can also take. For those of us, for example, who um, work within that social media space, digital marketers, people who have small businesses, how do you, what do you do about this? How do you go about this as well? Um, adding to what Shagun said already, uh, there are certain steps you can actually take that will help you. Um, if you're using, for example, uh, an iPhone, you can use apps like, you know, screen time. Mm -hmm. You know, I just use that to, you can even restrict it in such a way that it will not allow you open Facebook, Instagram, or any of those stuff within certain hours of the day. Mm -hmm. You can also say, okay, I want to spend only 20 minutes or 30 minutes a day on social media. You can even go on a fast. You can fast from social media. I did a 40 day fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wasn't easy. It wasn't, I, I thought it was going to be very easy. You know, when I said, oh, I'm going to fast from social media. It wasn't easy. 40 good days. I, every part of me wanted to go to the app store and download that app again. But um, God helped me. I survived the 40 days. And by the time I came back, I discovered that it wasn't as interesting as it used to be. Mm. That really helped. So you can do that often mm. um, for some people. Another thing that, that it can also help to reduce the amount of time you spend on your phone is turning off all your notifications. It works, it works, it works. Because the key is, the goal of notification is to encourage you to pick up your phone, right? Encourage you to pick up your phone and, you know, click and mm -hmm. check one thing which will lead to another thing and another thing. Mm -hmm. If you turn off all your notifications, you make a post, you would not know if anybody has liked it or not. Mm -hmm. You would not know if somebody is interacting or doing something that is worth your time. Sometimes they will even push notification and tell you, oh, so so and so made a post. Mm -hmm. And you're not even checking any, you're not checking, it just is like it's a push notification this time to force you to check. They will send you emails. You know, I, I, I saw a notification from Twitter today, like, you, oh, you have over 30 something notifications waiting for you. You know, I've not checked Twitter in a while. So they are now trying to follow me up. It's like evangelism, you know. You can actually unsubscribe from, from such emails, which I'm going to do very shortly. You know, um, yeah, that, that, that would be really, really helpful. Another thing is, if there is a particular app like for Sandra, it was Instagram. If there is one particular platform that is eating up all your time and you find that you still need that platform, you can actually delete that platform from your phone and interact through the desktop, go yeah. to the computer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can do that, that would actually help. Or you can even make it more difficult for you to find the app. You can turn okay. off, for example, you have an iPhone, you can turn off Siri notifications. You know, when you go to search and you, you know, you swipe down, it will give you notifications of popular apps. It will suggest apps for you. You can turn that feature off. Mm. So it makes it more difficult. You can even delete the app from your home screen. Mm -hmm. so it makes it more difficult for you to search for that app, find the app or something. That actually, that space of time would allow for your, like Brother Shagun said, um, that's your head to be correct, <laughs> correct, <laughs> like taking a walk, you know. So, those are some little, little steps you can take. Accountability really matters, like Sandra yes. said. Um, having a friend, mm -hmm. having someone you can be vulnerable with, you can tell the person, Oh, this is what I'm going through, and you never know. Uh, it can really help. So, th these are some little steps we can, uh, we can throw in. However, there may be some extreme cases where you would, if, if you can't pray alone, you may need some other pe persons to pray with you. Mm -hmm. And I believe, uh, like you said earlier, we'll be praying with you. Um, there are some very extreme cases where people believe that their lives are glued to their devices. Mm -hmm. I was working one day and a lady had a, um, an iPhone that was broken. And she said in person, I can't live without my phone. I'm not sure she understood the depth of that statement. Mm -hmm. Wow. I can't live without my phone. That's yeah, I remember I, I I used to say my phone is my best friend. 
That is everything for me. This is amazing. That was when I first, mm. my first smartphone, you know, some years ago, like 2013, 12, 13, or something like that. This is amazing. This is, it can, it has Google Maps. It has Facebook. It has everything I need. I can go on and search for anything immediately. So much information coming to my fingertips. I don't have to look for a computer. Everything I, this is amazing. I was yeah. so happy, like, <laughs> you know, ah, it even has my Bible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's, the, that's the one we used to, that's the bit. <laughs> Oh, my Bible is there. I'm just going to read my Bible. Yeah. Know that. Mm -hmm. Do that. Wow. So, yeah. Those are little steps, I think. Little baby steps we can take. Um, mm -hmm. I, I really recommend going on a fast from your device. It really help you. And if it's not adding any value to you, you're not using it for business. Uh, pray. Consider like doing away with at least one of them, just one at a time, little by little, you know, mm -hmm. just to give you that sense of power over those apps. Paul said, I will not be brought under the power of any. Yes. Remember, we have one Lord. Uh -huh. Yes. And the fact that Jesus is Lord would mean one thing, that we are servants of Jesus. Uh -huh. we, are, we answer to him. Uh -huh. We owe him how we manage our time. We owe him how we live our lives. We owe him the things that we, we expose our eyes to. We owe him this. It's a, it's a, it's a way we are serving him. This is mm -hmm. God comes in creation. So we must be very serious. It's very serious. It's very serious. It's not just social media. It's not just smartphone. It's a battle for your devotion to your Lord. It's, it's very critical. Amen. And um, just to add, Add to what our brothers, what our brother said, when you're completely sold out to Christ, which I believe we all are, you realize that your time is really not yours. You know, all of you, including your time, belongs to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. And another, another point in terms of solution to this problem, I'd like to add to what has been shared is um, reducing the time spent gradually. It's a method I actually learned here in, in medical school. Um, some patients that are on certain medications, you don't just, <laughs> just, they don't just stop taking the medication like that. You actually reduce the dose because stopping abruptly can cause lots of problems. Mm -hmm. You know, so maybe if they were taking two pills, you know, you reduce it to one like that. Slowly, we, we call it taper. You know, you slowly taper down. Same thing with um, um, social media addiction. Me personally, uh, I <clears throat> was watching a video. I was watching a video. He's a medical doctor and he was sharing some tips with students. And one of the things he said, you know, it really stood out to me. He said, how can you be studying for an exam and you're spending more than two hours on your phone? <laughs> You're spending more than two hours on your phone, or maybe in this case, we're talking about social media, you know? Mm -hmm. And it really hits me because I will say I was spending, I, I think I was actually spending more than two hours. Thankfully, like um, our brother Emmanuel mentioned, the iPhone has something called screen time, you know? It was very helpful for me in that season, studying for my exam. And I, I actually put myself on a restriction, a time restriction. You know, using my phone overall in general, I kept it less than two hours, mm -hmm. you know, but that was, that's me. You don't have to use two hours. You can use whatever, you know, suits you five hours, you know, or three hours, um, but you can do that, you know, reduce, reduce the time, reduce the time, um, have somebody you can be accountable for. If you use an iPhone, use the screen time and the, the person you're accountable for, take a screenshot send it to them. This is how much I use my phone, you know? Mm -hmm. um, these, are, these are just tips, reducing time. Another thing is setting guardrails and our brother shared on um, using technology to help you, you know? Um, the, the, there's so much technology out there because it's, it's a problem um, affecting everybody, whether you're Christian or non-Christian. So there are people that have developed apps and things that can actually help with their addiction, you know? Um, 
you can have restrictions, con um, privacy, content, and all of that. You can put restrictions on your devices, um, limit time, and so on and so forth. Yeah. And yeah. Amen. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we, we actually answered one of our questions without us asking it, which is um, for, for those who actually rely on these devices for their livelihood, right? Their business, how, what, what can they do about it? You know, so the Lord has uh, helped us to give insight into that. Uh, especially the point of transferring these apps from your phone to your mm -hmm. computer, to your laptop. And yeah. then um, when you talk about downtime, um, what do you actually do with that downtime? You know how the Lord Jesus Christ told us um, or gave us some wisdom on deliverance, where he said, when you cast out the uh, demon from someone don't the person cannot leave the the place empty yes. otherwise that demon will eventually come back and seeing that it's empty he will go back bring seven of his friends more deadly than him and come and occupy the place and the end of such a one will be worse than the start so the key to progressing is don't leave the time that you have now made available based on your discipline in your use of social media. Don't leave it empty. Actually fill it up with Christ, with yes. learning Christ, with knowing Christ, with spending time with him. And that is the key. Otherwise, after you have fasted for a while from it, you will come back. It's like when you fast um, and then it's time to eat at maybe 6 p.m., you now want to eat all the food that <laughs> you, you missed throughout the day. <laughs> so, you know, so let your appetite change, not just stopping one appetite, but changing it from, so from the worldly to Christ. Amen. 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 You can even develop new habits. You can learn an instrument that you can use to you know, mm. serve the Lord, the keyboard, the guitar, something. You can volunteer that time mm -hmm. to serve, you know, out there. Yeah. And don't think you are too old. Don't think, oh, I'm in my 20s, or I'm my 30s, or I'm my 40s. I'm too old to learn a new instrument. The uh, Lord helped me. I'm telling you. Work for me. <laughs> <laughs> It's possible, though. It is possible. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, so we'll pray. We'll, we'll, um, I don't know how many people out there are going through any sort of oppression from indiscipline or 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 whatever. It's not, it's, I'm not. We're not saying it's your fault, you know. But just being oppressed based on what social media has done, our phones have done to to society that we feel addicted to your phone and don't think of yourself as um excluding this company i don't know how to put it the right way. many of us should all should also look inward think about it leave your phone in another room for an hour and see if you are fidgeting you're like, hmm. where's my phone where's my phone you know there's something ah uh, it shouldn't be that way. So we'll just pray. And, and of course, this prayer will extend to our individual homes where you lay your hands on yourself whenever you, you have time by yourselves and just pray. Ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Lord to deliver you from this bondage so that we can enjoy his glorious liberty. Amen. 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 Let's, let's just pray. Um, Sandra, please, would you, would you just pray? And then after that, Emmanuel, you would just round up. Amen. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, we want to pray for anybody streaming and watching this um, video who is under the influence of the enemy in, in, in chains and in, in, in bondage of addiction to social media to their phone. My father and my king, we just want to pray that almighty God, that you would 
would, would set them free from such addictions in the name of Jesus. We, we pull down we pull down strongholds, holding people down, caging people to their phones. In the name of Jesus, we, we come against such, we come against such in the mighty name of Jesus. We Amen. pray, Almighty God, for help. We pray for mighty visitation, Almighty God. Even right now, oh God, we ask for your spirit, oh God, to come and intervene in the situation. In the name of Jesus, we pray that whoever is watching that is addicted to um, the social media addicted to the phone. We pray that such addictions will be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray such hunger and such thirst to, to always um, spend more time with, with um, um, the, the social media and such attraction. Let such things be completely broken, oh God. The, the word says that your spirit, you, you will send forth your spirit and he will help us. He will teach us all things. We believe that your spirit is our helper, the, the spirit, uh, the Holy Spirit, the spirit of the living God. We ask that you help whoever, whatever individual right now struggling with, with their phones, oh God, struggling with gadgets. We ask for help, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We pray yeah. that your spirit to help them and set them free from this, this, this influence of the enemy. And it's, uh, it may be appearing to be something good, appearing to be not harmful, but it's very, very deadly. We pray that almighty God, you cut, that you severe and cut such ties in the name of Jesus and let the hearts of men, let them be, fo let them, the hearts of men be, be focused on you. Let their eyes be focused on you, oh God. We ask um, that you, you help them, you help them, teach them almighty God. Whatever method that would, would personally suit them, oh God, we pray that you, 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 you let it be known to them, oh God. We also pray for strength. We pray for grace to, to heed to your word. When you speak to them and tell them, this is what you need to do, oh God. Let them have the strength. Let them have grace, oh God, and, and faith in your spirits to do that which you have told them to do. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, we, we, we set the hearts of men free from this, from this uh, pandemic of social media. We, we set them free right now in the name of Jesus. We set their hearts free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we just thank you, almighty God. We give you all the glory because we know that you've gone before us and we know that you have heard and answered our prayers. We give you all the glory, oh God. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, yeah. we yeah. extend this prayer to anyone listening right now yes. that is struggling with one addiction or the other. It may not be addiction to social media. It may be addiction to pornography, addiction to masturbation, addiction to one substance or the other. By the power in the name of Jesus, we command that addiction to go, to be broken in the name of Jesus. We command Amen. every bondage to be broken now by the power of God. We command that spirit, we enforcing those thoughts, we enforcing that sense of pleasure, that sense of connection. In the name of Jesus, we command that spirit to let you go in, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. We break every connection every unhealthy connection to smartphones, every unhealthy connection to social media, every unhealthy connection to one substance or the other, we command that connection now to be broken. Be, Amen. Be Amen. Broken in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Father, that everyone listening today, young boys, young girls, teenagers, even children, I ask for a revelation of you. Mm -hmm. A revelation of the cross, a revelation of Jesus, mm -hmm. and the light would shine in, the, in their hearts, and that light would dispel every darkness. Mm -hmm. That light would destroy every yoke. That light would lift up every burden from your shoulders in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I pray for a revelation of the cross. You revealed yourself to Paul. He never remained the same. You revealed yourself to Peter. He never remained the same. You revealed yourself upon your resurrection to those disciples who were, you know, who had abandoned the assignments, abandoned their posts. 
They never remain the same. They were radically transformed. Lord, I pray for a radical encounter, an encounter Jesus. of the cross, an encounter of the risen Lord that will change the hearts of men, that will change the heart of that person listening right now in desperate need of help. I pray for that radical encounter now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that your voice will thunder in their hearts. That your voice will thunder in their hearts. That your voice will thunder in their hearts. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, your word says your divine power has given us all things that we need for life and godliness. Through the knowledge of him who has called us to glory and goodness. Father, I ask that the revelation of your son, Jesus, will burst forth in the heart of your children. Mm -hmm. And not only that, that a desire, a desire, a desire, a, it, say, it says as newborn babes desire the sincere meek of the word of God. Uh, a, a, a pure desire, a pure hunger for your word would rise from the heart of your children mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. A hunger that would change their taste buds. A hunger that would make them set aside all malice, all slander, all guile, all addictions, every strange desire. That a desire for your word, a desire for your word, a desire for your word would rise in your hearts and Amen. replace every contrary desire in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you, Father. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Testimonies Amen. will abound because of this meeting. Amen. Testimonies Amen. will abound because of this meeting. Amen. Testimonies Amen. will abound because of this meeting. Your Amen. Clearly, 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 whatever noise, whatever noise it be that has been interrupting your children from hearing your voice, Lord, I ask that those noise, that, that cloud be rolled away. In the name of Amen. Jesus, that your Amen. voice will thunder in their hearts and they will hear you clearly saying, this is what I want you to do. This is yes. what I want you to give yes, up. Yeah. This is what I want you to embrace in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. I thank you now for inside prayers. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord for his great help. Thank you, everyone, for watching. The Lord richly, richly bless you. Yes. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen. God bless you, guys. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you.